welcome back. One of the issues I've been having is uh, my high-speed tool bits for this Proxon mini lathe have been going dull just because I've used them, especially this one, which is the Proxon high-speed steel cutoff tool. And uh, I tried, you know, sharpening it, and it seemed like sharpening was a black art, you know, getting all the relief angles exactly right. And I just messed it up. And now I've worked out how to do it. Let me show you. I think really the principle is KISS. Keep it simple, stupid. And it really works. So, big tip. Keep the tool in the tool holder because it really uh, gives you something to hold on to and keeps it at a good angle. So... If you just take the tool out and hold it in your hand, it's kind of scary and uh, doesn't work so well. And here's the grinding wheel. I'll turn it off so you can actually hear what I'm going to say. So all you're going to do is reprofile the front edge only to whatever Proxon, in this case, gave you the tool. And... They've cut all the relief angles perfectly, and you don't need to mess around. So I'm going to do it, and I'm not going to talk because it's going to be too loud. So just watch this. And that's it. I mean, nothing more than that. One tip that I would say when you're looking down, you can see when you've got this sharp cutting edge, that angle at the top right, when you see little sparks dancing along the top, that means it's grounded down and it's reached the top edge. So I guess the proof of the pudding is eating it. So let's... Put in a piece of old scrappy work. So this is the Proxon mini lathe. I think cutoff tools need to be nice and tight. And also you need to cut them off. Do cut off near the headstock. So it actually doesn't put, so it's, the work isn't hanging out too much. And there we go, it's working just fine. A bit of pressure, nice curly aluminium. So there you have it. Just keep it simple, reprofile the face only to the same shape that the professional toolmaker made the high-speed tool originally and you're back to a sharp tool. And, you know, if you really mess it up, you're going to have to buy a new tool anyway. So give it a try and happy turning.